What am I doing with my life? I just want to connect. Why can't I connect with people? All right, it's because I'm dead. I wish I could introduce myself, but I don't remember my name. I think it started with an R. That's all I have left. It's kind of a bummer. I shouldn't be so hard on myself. I mean, we're all dead. This is my best friend. We even have almost conversations sometimes. They call these guys bonies. They'll eat anything with a heartbeat. I mean, I will too, but... At least I'm conflicted about it. Nice watch. much. Don't be creepy, don't be creepy. Well, it is a corpse infected with the plague. It is uncaring, unfeeling. I don't understand, but he's changing, and he feels, and he's learning to be human again. Oh my god, is that him? Yeah. Sup? He started something here. Whatever it is that you two have, it's infecting the others. Dad, they're somehow curing themselves. They are not curing themselves. <gasps> Come with Shoot on sight. If you have a breach, keep me waiting. I'm only We're changing everything. We're seeing corpses fighting skeletons, sir. How do we shoot? Shoot this! Hi. Huh? you die? How old are you? Because you could be 20-something, but you could also be a teenager, you know, you have one of those faces. <laughs> Time since cardiac death. Seven hours, 15 minutes. Put the math You have kids that love you and a wife that adores you. Time is mine, remember. And we have scientists. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. I am this close. Never has anyone been more. There now. I'm better. What's going on? William? Tell me the truth. There was a crash. You and the kids died. I brought you back. There is a reason human cloning is banned. I'm dead. What if something horrible goes wrong? Something already has. This has got way out of hand. I hope you're ready to go to jail. The experiment's over. No, it isn't. And I'll go I love you. Forever. I didn't defy every natural law there is just to lose you again. Uh... What if I could put him in front of you? The man that ruined your life. If I could guarantee that you'd get away with it. Would you kill him? are leaving the city in fear of a fifth attack by the fizzle bomber maybe he's doing the city a favor that kind of talk can get you in trouble no worse than i've already been through there's something this job has taught me is that truth is stranger than fiction you're not talking about bartending are you i'm not talking about bartending follow me right in here here we go
Deep breath. We're in 1963. That's impossible. I'm a temporal agent. We prevent crime before it takes place. The fizzle bomber. His next explosion will leave 11,000 dead. You can do this. Right. You have skills you've never had the chance to use, and I can give you that chance. I get to be a temporal agent? If you prove yourself. Do I have a choice? You always have a choice. Ten. Nine. I always eight, knew something was different seven, about me. Six, You're a gift nine, given to the world nine, through a predestination nine, paradox. You're the only one. You can save millions of lives. You must complete your mission. You must lay the seeds for the future. Here you are at the beginning of your new life. I know where I come from. Where do all you zombies come from? You're here to create history and influence what is to come. Time catches up with us all. The path you're on will take you to your destination. This is the mind-numbing black hole I call a job. And this is me, Wesley Gibson. Nobody. Like everybody else, I just keep waiting for a lotto ticket out of my boring existence and into a life that means something. I knew your father. My father died the week I was born. Your father died yesterday on the rooftop of the Metropolitan Building. He was one of the greatest assassins who ever lived. And the other one is behind you. I thought he'd be taller. Shoot the wings off the flies. You're insane. Insanity is coasting through life in a miserable existence when you have a caged lion locked inside. I really think you have me mixed up with somebody else. Shoot the wings off the flies. Either you shoot or I do. Only a few people in the world can do that. You can't even see them! Your father could do it. And you can do it. We are a fraternity of assassins, the weapons of fate. The fraternity has trained assassins for thousands of years. You'll be given everything you need. Curve the bullet. To kill your target. <laughs> I think he's ready. We don't know how far the ripples of our decisions go. Kill one, save a thousand. Now, that's what we believe in, and that's why we do it. This is what's been missing from your life, Wesley. Purpose. All you have to do now is embrace it. I'm the man. Are we gonna bond now? Would you like to? Within this unstable world, every life hangs by a thread. We are that thread. of your own destiny. Join us. One. You've built an empire from the ground up. Mr. Hale, it's an honor. The man who built New York. People will insist that your buildings make you immortal. Now, as you slip away, do you feel immortal? We offer humanity's greatest minds more time to fulfill their potential. Designed to offer you the very best of the human experience. It's alive. An empty vessel. If we do this, there's no turning back. Your old life is over. What's that? Something to stop your heart. What? It's something to stop your heart. feeling has a new body smell sense of humor good just relax and have some fun 
After all, at your age, I'd say you've earned it. Uh, 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 uh. And you can have all of this. After all the hard work, you can have all of this. Money in the cars, clothes, you can have all of this. Fall up in the best club, you can have all the women. Huh. You okay? Fine. I just haven't seen anything like that in about 52 years. <laughs> Daddy! Immortality has some side effects. Hello? How is this possible? There is no science, no progress without sacrifice. I never wanted others to suffer. I gave you what you wanted. You took a man's life. No! I did! Soon I'll be gone. I can already feel myself fading. Without me, your mind will relapse. And we both know who takes over. I'm the only one standing between you and oblivion. It's amazing to meet you. It is simply extraordinary. Maybe this will all make sense if I explain who I am. My name is Dr. Ellie Staple, and I'm a psychiatrist. My work concerns a particular type of delusion of grandeur. It's a growing field. I specialize in those individuals who believe they are superheroes. <laughs> Good for you. The three of you have convinced yourselves you have extraordinary gifts like something out of a comic book. David Dunn, the only person to survive that train wreck all those years ago. What do you do? I'm in security. You think you have superpowers? It's a feeling. Vision. I have to touch them. You believe you are a protector. My name is Patricia. I have no question. There are two dozen identities. I'm Mary Reynolds. Por favor, senora. We almost got you, bro. That live in that body with you. The beast is coming any minute now for you guys. But what I am questioning is your belief that you are something more than human. And yet, it is bones break easily. I've had 94 breaks in my life. But you have an extraordinary IQ. This is not a cartoon. This is the real world. No way. And yet, some of us still don't die with bullets. Some of us can still bend steel. I have been waiting for the world to see that we exist. May I meet the beast? I hope for your sake that he likes you. That sounds like the bad guys teaming up. A lot of people are going to die. Don't do this. Are you ready? What do we call you, sir? First name, Mr. Last name. Shop, let's talk it. The target is an armored truck, the perimeter trust. 10 a.m. sharp. Bank is right next to the The switch car, baby, hit the long state parking structure. He start in the a.m. Questions. I got a question, Doc. Why would I believe phones over here hear the goddamn word you said? He ain't even listening. Baby? The target is an armored truck at Perimeter Trust in Dunwoody, 10 a.m. sharp. The switch car is ready, but you want me to hit the long stay parking structure and get a high vehicle that stays colder longer? It needs to be ready for an 8.30 start. Questions? You've been my driver for every job since we met. You're the best in the business. Need you behind the wheel again. One more job and I'm done. One more job and we're straight. Hey, hey baby. baby. 
Why is he listening to music all the time? He had an accident when he was a kid. He's got mental problems? I'm the one who got the mental problems in the crew. Position take. What is your name? Baby. Your name's Baby. B-A-B-Y Baby. <laughs> in this business. The moment you catch feelings is the moment you catch a bullet. You are my lucky charm, and I'm not doing this job without you. Your uh, waitress girlfriend, she's cute. Let's keep it that way. I have to drop again. It's not what I want. And what do you want? To get out of here. You win. I'm in, baby. We are 24 hours from being descended upon by this entire city. Have you been talking about us? It's supposed to squirrel on the road, not the cops. We're getting out. I have to end this. Get out of the car. Oh, my purse. I'm sorry, ma'am. Spielberg presents Back to the Future, a Robert Zemeckis film. Marty leads an ordinary life. No McFly ever amounted to anything in the history of Hill Valley. Well, history is going to change. And 1985 is not his year. But Dr. Brown is about to change all that. Are you telling me you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? He's sending Marty 30 years back in time. Now, he's trapped in the past. This has got to be a dream. About to meet... Chocolate. ...his future father. He's a peeping tough. Wow! And he's making an impression on his mother. He's an absolute dream. And he can sleep in my room. Ah. Anything you do could have serious repercussions on future events. Ah. Now, he's got to make his mother and father fall in love. Just crying out loud, I haven't even been born yet. And only Dr. Brown... <laughs> can help him get back to the future. Are you telling me that this sucker is nuclear? Precisely. Michael J. Fox. Whoa, this is heavy. Christopher Lloyd. There's that word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in the future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? Back to the future. Our next stop is Antiquities. Make sure that your micro scans are charged for download. Let's go. And Tommy, if you do that again, I will resequence your DNA. So help me. Now march. Welcome. How may I help you? Over here, area of inquiry. Tell me about the time machine. Time Machine was written by H.G. Wells in 1894. It was later adapted to a motion picture by George Powell and a stage musical by Andrew Lloyd Webber, which no, ran that, on Broadway that's not what for I mean. years. Would you like to hear selections from the score? No. There's a place called Tomorrow. Thank you. That's quite enough. Will there be anything else? Uh, no. No, I... I think I'll have better luck in a few hundred years. Time travel. It's possible, sir. Not in this world. Where do you come from? I'm from the past. I wonder if we'll ever go too far. With what? With this, with all of this. No such thing. Why have you traveled through time? To have a question answered. Why can't one change the past? Why would you want to? You lost someone. Someone you loved very much. You should go back to your own time. Why? There are things better left not said. Tell me what's happening here. And if the truth will haunt your dreams for all time. Well, I think I'm used to that. This was not supposed to happen. 
They're human beings. I can look inside your memories, your dreams, your nightmares. You have to fight. You have to resist. Nothing will change the future. You're wrong. I will change it. Just love me for the rest of mine. Please, you have to believe me. I loved her. What does it feel like to get away with murder? She's a Amazon to save your soul. I should ask the devil to punish you ever killed her. You know, you don't have to convince me. I believe you. Why are you protecting me? Because if I did anything to her, then I'm a monster. Did you notice anything unusual? In my heart? What are they? You know how I think we should proceed? I should grind me up some Oxycontin and have a little snort. Well, um... Everyone in this town is going crazy. I think it's because of me and these horns. You killed that innocent girl, now the devil has claimed you. I didn't kill her father, and now people are telling me all these things I don't want to hear. I'm so bad. I'm bad. I'm pretty enough to be on TV, right? We gotta figure out who really killed Marin and get him to confess. Big. I would never hurt her. Tell me. Tell me everything that happened. Admit you killed her. It'd be such a huge scoop for me. I got an idea. How about you guys beat the heck out of each other, and the winner gets an exclusive interview with me? What's that snake doing around your neck? I made a new friend. Are those horns? Damn right, they're horns. <laughs>